Welcome to my channel. My name's Ed, and you're watching Corvette S Garage. Today, we're going to talk about the machine. But before that, uh, let's go to this brief pause, and we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, it wasn't a short pause, I lied. I kind of threw that in there so you kind of get an idea of uh, uh, who I am and uh, what I like doing. Um, and this here, this is only temporary. I had major surgery back uh, nine months ago. Um, and uh, it, it was pretty, uh, pretty extensive. And this is what they did to me. fucking sends shivers up my spine every time I look at that. Whoa. Anyway. I scared the shit out of my dog. You okay, little girl? <laughs> anyway. I'm um, here to talk about the machine, uh, which is this uh, uh, Corvette that's next to me. Uh, it's up in the air right now. It's getting. I'm getting ready to do the uh, Pro Charger installation. Um, I guess I'll start about 20 years ago, 20, 21 years ago. Um, I, uh, I, I that's when I bought the Corvette, and I wasn't actually looking for a C4 Corvette. Uh, in case you don't know, C4 stands for fourth generation Corvette. Um, I was more into the C3 Corvettes, and I really love the body style of the C3. Uh, at the time when I was looking, uh, my roommate, who was a um, my best friend, uh, he was a Corvette guy, and he, he owned a lot of them. And um, he always trying to convince me, you know, take take a C4 out for a drive. He says they're light years ahead of the C3s. They're pretty much uh, General Motors' introduction to the first sports car, Corvette. Uh, but. Um, I asked him to come along with me uh, to go. I wanted to go check out a, a 78 pace car, a C3. And he said, uh, You know what, Ed, before you do that, let's go down to the dealership, down a uh, car dealership down, down the street. There's a C4, uh, a 1989 C4 Corvette down there. Take it out for a test drive. You will not regret it. Okay, well, I, I said, I'll, I, Okay, I'll, let's, let's, let's head on down there. So we. And now, we were on our way over there, and then this car was sitting on the side of the road. We pulled over, and uh, it was had a for sale sign. The guy wanted $10,000, uh, 38,000 miles uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the car. Uh, I called, no answer, left a message, and we proceeded down to the car dealership. And uh, uh, we jumped into that 1989. It was pretty rough. Uh, you can tell it's been, uh, it, it was a little wore out, uh, uh, a little beat up. Uh, it was an automatic too. I'm not a real fan of an automatic when it comes to the sport car. But um, we, uh, uh, we took it out for a test ride. And one thing that, that uh, impressed me, it was what, how easy it was to spin those tires in an automatic. I was a little surprised at that. Um, the suspension wasn't bad at all. It actually handled pretty good, uh, but again, the, the car was tired. So we headed on back to my pl our place, and uh, uh, I got a phone call, and it was the owner for this Corvette here. Uh, and I told him I was interested in the car. Uh, I'd like to meet him somewhere, take the car for a test drive. He said, "I'll just come over and you know after uh, come over to my house." I gave him my address. He came over. Um, we jumped in the car, and I was babying it, you know, because it wasn't my car, you know, and, um, but I liked it, you know, I mean, I couldn't believe, it was like day and night difference between this 85 and the 89. This thing handled real good, 
Not only that, it was healthy. Uh, I, I mean, it, it was a lot stronger than that 89. So um, as we're cruising along, the guy looks at me and says, you know what, well, you know, put your foot into it. Find out what it can do. I put my foot into it and I was impressed. Okay, so uh, we went back to my place. We, um, I, I, I knocked him down to about 8,500 and uh, I gave him the cash on the spot. Uh, he gave me the pink slip and I owned a 1985 Corvette. 21 years ago so um, it's got it's it's uh, it, it needed uh, some things you know uh, I had to replace the uh, uh, the seat uh, leather seats in it um, new tires and um, shoot but for the same week I, I owned it the damn cluster went out I took that to General Motors so it cost me a little bit more to uh, get it back going uh, pretty much 10 grand uh, after a um, after buying it and uh, so I had my fun with it and I was into uh, you know autocross you know and uh, I decided I'm going to take my my Corvette out there on the track well uh, I had a great time and if you haven't done any autocrossing let me tell you uh, it's legal fun uh, just go out there and have a great time uh, I, I, I had this out there for about three years and in the three years I had it out there I did I upgraded uh, the suspension the leaves and the uh, bushings uh, with polyurethane bushings um, and uh, the Coney five-way adjustable shocks uh, and this car really handles like a dream and I dropped it also uh, not not low but I, you know, it, low enough to get rid of that gap in between the fender wells so I decided you know you know I had my fun with it and I'm the type of guy that uh, I like uh, doing other things and I just got this here uh, in a basket case so I retired this I figure I'm gonna put it out through uh, put it in storage for now and, uh, and let me go take care of some other things so this and I, I, had, I put this one together and painted it uh, this one came out pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I was working on the 300ZX at the time too. But here we are 13 years later and uh, I'm ready to do what I need to do to this car. Unfortunately, I live in California and I have to, small, can you believe it, 36, 36, 37 year old car and I have to smog the damn thing every two years. Well, I don't have any problem smogging, but uh, you know, I want to do some things to it. The Pro Charger is a 50 state legal kit. Uh, I'm impressed with it so far. Um, I talked to Pro Charger years ago uh, about doing it before I put it. I, I put it in storage. I was impressed with what they said uh, then, um, and uh, the kit is a, a complete kit uh, for a 50 state legal kit. Uh, I like to do something to the engine. I'm not sure I'm going to do a 355 um, or a 33 stroker. I haven't crossed that bridge yet. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I, I know what I, I do want as far as the motor is concerned, but I have to tread lightly. Um, I don't want to end up with a car that I can't smog and drive. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you. Uh, an idea of uh, the machine here. Um, I think I, I'm pretty lucky, um, and um, it, it's a great foundation to do what I want to do to it. So until then, the next episode, uh, we're going to cover the Pro Charger, uh, the kit itself, um, but uh, that'll be episode number three, which will be coming out here pretty shortly. Uh, Subscribe if you want to get notifications on whenever uh, a video uh, pops up uh, on my end. Uh, if you like it, like it. You know, it. it uh, this is gonna. This whole thing is gonna be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode number three. Take care.